All right, so I'm. Uh, this is something I've been looking forward to for a little bit because I remember this. Um, my grand, my grandpa had um this encyclopedia, Compton's Ence Interactive Encyclopedia, and uh, I never really played with the too much. But the one thing I kept going back to was this little game that hid in the um. Well, it wasn't a hidden, but it was like a feature, but I consider it like the best part of the whole thing. Considering that this encyclopedia is like way outdated at this point, we're talking, this is at least like, it's the 98 edition, so 97. It's pretty much otherwise useless, unless you just want to like, you know, and get a glimpse of that. But, I was like, I'm wanting to play this again! So, I had to, I went and grabbed a copy of the disc of, Obviously, being an outdated encyclopedia disc, they're not going for very much at all. I was able to snag mine for about three bucks, including shipping. So, that was easy to take care of. The hard part, though, is because it runs on an ancient operating system, Windows 95 or 98, you couldn't really just put it in and play it. You had to, like, you have to, like, get a copy of the OS and then run it in, like, a virtual box to emulate it and such. Fun fact, I did, um,. Work with the. I try to run it natively, and it actually does run natively. But as soon as you start getting into the game proper, um, it does crash. So that the unfortunately I was I had to still use VirtualBox. So let's go. Oh, that's another thing. Um, so the sounds the MIDI does doesn't play properly through VirtualBox, and I'm not gonna fuss around with it. So I'm just gonna add it in post. Um, what else? Oh yeah, and the Smacker, there's a video coming up in that runs on the Smacker codec, so I will have to do that in post as well. Alright, so, three, two, one, and start. <laughs> so we get this cool FMV at first. Basically, the, the, the objective of this game, Star Quest, is that you are in this, um, pod, and it's an educational thing, and you just have to, like, um, you're basically just looking for deep sky objects. In Constellations. It's supposed to be an educational game, but I think it's kind of fun looking around. Alright, so there's Tess. That's what I started out with. So we're going to replace it with my name. John. And Quest. Yeah, here we go. So, you're in a pod. Big Game Hunter. You can make it that way you will. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I don't remember how many objects there are, but there's quite a bit. Actually. Yep, yeah, you have to find the constellation first, and then look around the constellation for the object. No one can travel the heavens without being transformed. I don't know. Rotate the pod. Ba 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 ba. Arrow. I thought you could use the arrow keys on the keyboard to do that. I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Nebula, clusters, galaxies, supernovas, fun astronomy stuff. Uh, constellations, blah, 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 blah. Alright. So, we'll close this, and here we are. The game proper. Oh, I don't remember it having a time remaining. Alright. So, the first thing we're looking for is Cassiopeia. If I remember, it's like Messier 52. Could be wrong. Alright, so. Alright, arrows don't work. Okay, cool. So we'll just have to use it on the on-screen thing. So I remember from uh, this right here is Cassiopeia. Oh, I hit the find thing here. Yep, constellation located. So I'll zoom in. Now. And now it's giving you a location where the Messier 52 is. Um, <clears throat> and it's, if I remember correctly, this one's pretty obvious. So, I think it's Pseudo Worlds. You'll know it when you see it.
can also see how low res the, um, the stars are. Exactly, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't, like, tell you, like, where you are in the constellation. You just have to, like, remember and hope. Yeah. Unfortunately, I did the stupid thing by not uh, keep checking where you are. So, I'm actually going to. And if you open it, shows you all the other things you can get. Cool. Alright, we'll try this again. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you can display the figures, can you? Yeah, you probably want this one. Okay. So. So it should be right above. There it is! Alright. So, this is what I'm talking about. Right here, you can see how, you can see the, the object very, um... Just barely in there. I'm hoping that <laughs> the, the recording captures that, because it's like really small. Alright, so we're going to take a picture. There you go. M52 located. Oh wow, I didn't realize it was a JPEG. <laughs> there you go. Ta-da! You got that one. So this process continues until you get all of them, basically. So we go to the next one. Andromeda. This is that weird one below Cassiopeia. So it's pretty much just have to go down. Boom. Um... Oh, really? Oh, there it is right there. Okay. Okay, easy enough. Of course I'm the almost gonna drop my galaxy. Derp. Do that every time. Let's see how far I can get into this before I like give up. My patience runs up. Triangulum, which is below. This one shouldn't be too hard to find. Slightly more blue. Um, image. I'm wondering if the blue. 
blue is more from the galaxy or just from the JPEG or the the compre quality of the compression there. It's probably not even JPEG, it's probably something more inferior. Uh, let's go again. Okay, this one shouldn't be hard to find. right there, I just saw it. Zoom in. Zoom by. So let's go then. You know that'll sometimes happen when you'll see it. Well gee, I wonder where it is.
remember if it like centers it on there. Yeah, okay. It's like right next to a large star. Oh! There it is! Okay. So, some of them are like this, but you if you look here, see that very faint thing right there? It shows up a little brighter on the other, my other monitor than this, but you see that right there? That's it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. And that's part of the challenge on some of these. You actually have to look pretty good, and like, you may have to even crank the brightness up on the monitor. It can be a little frustrating sometimes, but that's part of it. Wh and trust me, when I was younger and I found that out, and I saw it, I was like, I was so, I felt so proud of myself. Alright. I think I'm going to try to get the first full page and then I'll end the video. We'll see. Aquarius. Alright. This time he's right. So let's remember that. There we are, right there. Cool. Mezier to relocate. All right, three more, and we got a whole page, boys and girls. Winter. Uh oh. Turning it up a bit. That is one me menacing looking Ursa Major here. <laughs> Jealous Jr. Alright. So, okay, this one is not hard to find. I, mean, I know that sounds unbelievable, but. It's right here. And I don't know if you saw that for a second, but you could actually see the object you're looking for right above. Yeah, if you want to look at it, then you can just like click on it and you can see him again. Wished. Alright, now what? Kane's Benex. I can never know how to pronounce that. Kane's Benatici. Benatici? Benatici? I don't know. It's Italian. <laughs> This one it shouldn't be too hard, but I think it's just those two right down there. And because of the constellation, it's it shouldn't be. Yeah, it's way down there. Okay, that's what I thought. So we should just go 
down and we should see it. Yeah, what do you know? Cool. Alright, one more. Which... Oh, here we go. We can just over here. Alright. Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Yeah, this one shouldn't be hard. Sounds way on the left. There it is right there. You can see the blue array over there. So we're gonna go down. Boom. That's your 51. Is that the pinwheel galaxy? I can remember that being the pinwheel galaxy. Yep, cool. Alright. There's our first page full. Um, you know what? Screw it. We'll do one more. I feel good about that. <laughs> Coma Bernessis. I know I probably screwed that up so badly. And yeah, it's some princess's hair, I believe. Uh. Right there! See that little, the, that blur right there. Money will get there. The Black Eye Galaxy. Yeah. Your constellations, yeah. You can see all these again if you wanted to. Yeah. Alright, cool! Alright, and that'll be it for now. I'll try this again later and maybe see if I can finish the rest of it. Cool, thanks. Thanks for watching. This is fun.